So Golly was down to his last bit of HP. Oh sweet fucking lord, oh Crimini Jimbus. Come on, timer ball, work. No. If I see flare, flare blitz, it's over. He knocked himself out again. Solgalia fled somewhere, yep. Ah. <sighs> Well, fuck me, dude. Alright. I think I'll... Ch mm. I think I'm gonna try again for... Uh, maybe later. I'm gonna go to the epilogue now. Now, to do the epilogue, I just go straight to Kitakami with the mythical Petra Berry, because I already got it. I believe. Uh, hold on. Something new? Oh, the Mordpico snack. <gasps> no, dude. Do I have more Pico? Because I was doing a bunch of random online terror raids uh, yesterday when I was off and. One of them was a Morpico. I don't remember if I have one or not. So I might have just screwed myself over. Uh, Mythical Petra Bear. Yeah, there's that one. I'm sorry, but I, I need to check. Uh, A to Z. It'd be M... Oh? Wait. Wait, is more Pico, uh, Indigo Disc or Teal Mask? Uh, M O. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Teal mask. Okay, never mind. I was gonna be like, oh my god, I missed out on the fact of uh, catching more Pico for my Indigo Disc Pokedex, but I, f <laughs> I forgot if it was either Indigo Disc or Teal Mask. Uh, it's Teal Mask, obviously. Okay. Um, so now I have to fly to Kitakami. I need to. Where's it? Uh, the community center. Fly there. So this is where I go for uh, the epilogue, I guess. Let me just do something real quick. There's that, okay. And then... I guess I go over here, right? Uh, real quick, I'm gonna change them. 
Still leveling up Delphox. Uh, oh, y'all can't see my team right now. So I'm going to hide this real quick. So that's my team right now as the Superior, Delphox, Porygon, Slowbro, Slowking, and Garchomp. So most of the most of them are to level up. A Porygon right now is just for like leveling up and then I can trade it for Porygon 2. Stuff like that. Lovely of you to stop by. Take your time and have a look around. Uh, what is it? Buy items? No. Let me know if there's anything else you want. Okay. Sell. Was it buy clothing? Uh, wait. So, there's a dusty old decoration of some sort mixed in with all the daily goods and things. And it smells incredibly sweet. The decoration appeared to move a little bit. Oh, here we go. Found it. Okay. Ah! Moved my thing. Who's it? Arvin! Hey! Shadow! Yo, Arvin here. I heard the news. You've been having all kinds of big adventures, huh, little buddy? School trips, studying abroad. What luck? Yeah, it's been awesome. Yeah? Man, I'm jealous to hear that. I wish I could have gone along too. Now that I think about it, it's been one crazy thing after another since you came to our school. I guess you've still been real busy lately, but are things starting to settle down? I was thinking that if you have time, and only if you want, of course, maybe I could come visit you at your house? Of course, come right over. Seriously? Such a relief to hear you say that, and without even the tiniest hesitation. So I guess I'll come over. Your house is in Cabo Poco, right? I'll meet you up front. See you there. Wow. Oh, that decoration's gone. Oh, no. Hidden treasure, area zero, epilogue. Mochi mayhem? Here we go. Meet up with Arvid, yeah. So that is... All the way down here. Okay. So, fly back to my house. And we can get this epilogue started. By the way, I'm wearing a brand new hat, in case y'all didn't know. Because normally I wear my grat hat, my gray hat, that's uh, Airbus A380. But this time I'm wearing a brand new hat that I got recently. It's a Crush 40. Oh, no. There it is. Oi, Shadow. Oh, God. <laughs> Figured I'd tag along. Hey there. You're all here. So, I... Uh, this is all my fault. Sorry. You know when I called you and said I wanted to come hang? Well, these two overheard and... Well, we weren't just going to let you hog the chance to visit Shadow. It's way more fun to roll together. You say that, but who wants a bunch of uninvited guests? That's just rude. Don't worry about it. I guess if you're fine with it, Shadow, then I can't really complain either. Okay, listen up, you two. We're not allowed to cause any trouble for Shadow and his mom. Got it? We're gonna be the perfect guests today. You bet. I don't know who you think you're educating here, but sure. Whatever. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm gonna bite into this. 
That was such a great meal. I can't believe we got all that after we barged in out of nowhere. Oh, this cooking is so good, Shadow. Right? She's so pretty. My brain literally glitched when I saw her. <laughs> I'm so glad she remembered me. Look at this huge room. Doesn't make you feel all boxed in like the dorm rooms do. Super cute, seriously. Almost too much for me to take. Ooh! It's a Nintendo Switch! You have to tell me what games you've got on this thing. Actually, funny you say that, Penny. I got this great Pokemon. I got this great game on my Switch called Pokemon Scarlet. I ought to give it a try. <laughs> no, that's a screen. That's a screenshot, so I can show my room my roommate later. <laughs> what? Oh, the Squalvet plush. This plus to die for. How's everybody doing? Anyone want dessert? I was thinking of bringing up some sweets. Oh no. Sweets? Yes! N no way, we couldn't possibly ask you for more food. We don't mean to be a hus hustle. Hassle, I mean, we don't want to be a <laughs> hassle! <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Sweetie, no need to stand on ceremony here. Just make yourselves at home and relax. It, yes, ma'am. Oh, and Shadow, a letter came for you. It's from. God damn it, Kieran. Oh, Kieran, do you know a Kieran? Yep. My word, you've been making plenty of friends. There you are. I'll bring those sweets up in just a few. I hope you all enjoy them. I'll come help. Oh god. I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. Ah, I want to check out the sweets too. I'm sure it's nice, Shadow. You're very lucky. Oh. But what about that letter? Aren't you going to at least open it? Yeah, yeah. How are you doing lately? I took a leave from school, so I'm back in Masui Town for a while. My sis came back with me too. Hey! I know we didn't get much chance to talk after everything that happened in the Under Depths. I'd really like to catch up. Think you could swing a visit to Kitakami? Carmen would love to see you, I'm sure. Maybe you could bring your friends from Paldea too. I included plenty of, uh, plenty of tickets. Who's this Kieran guy? Some new friend or something? Yeah, just a friend. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's good for you and all. Shadow! Armin! You're not gonna believe how good this stuff looks! Oh no. So many to carry upstairs. Come on down here and eat! Sheesh, that Nimona. Hasn't she ever heard of an inside voice? But I guess we better go, or she'll just keep on shouting. Yeah, we might as well go downstairs for the sweets. Hey, get off my cup. Alright, oh, there was a freaking small little bug. Oh, my poor gut. I feel like I'll burst if I eat another bite. I think what you're trying to say is thank you so much for feeding us. It was all really delicious. Right? I'll help with the dishes and stuff. What's your sweetest thing? But no need to lift a finger. You can just take it easy. Thanks, ma'am. You're the best. At least the Mona's got manners. I'll give her that. Unlike this one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Why are you looking at me? Say, Shadow, about that letter. What was that place your new pal mentioned? Kitakami or something? We're not gonna go there and meet this Kieran guy again? We should go together. Wait, what? You're going somewhere? Oh, uh... Did you miss something? Something good? Spill it! Jesus Christ Almighty. The Mona. Are you serious? We're definitely going with you. 
Let's carry a kid who's champion of a super elite battle that can be, right? I've got to meet him. More like, I've got to battle him. Was it that Was it that obvious? Yes, it was. Very much so, Nimona. Cool it. Cool your jets. I feel kind of bad, though. Like, we just invited ourselves along on your trip without asking. A guy said to bring friends, and where are those friends? He had sent tickets for us. <laughs> God damn it. Yep. Friends equals us. Ergo, we get the tickets. You bet we do. This is my first time going on a trip with friends. I'm kind of... It's kind of scary and exciting at the same time. Yeah, now that you mention it, I don't think I've ever taken a trip with a friend either. It's gonna be amazing, so get excited. Guess I better at least tell the housekeeper over at my place I'll be away for a while. Why don't we break for now? Do whatever prep we gotta do and meet up again later. Sounds good. Let's say we meet up again in front of Mesagoza Southern Gate. Roger, see you all later then. Yeah. Thanks for having us over. Okay. Oh, did the Nimona, did Nimona and the others leave already? Your friends are all such nice kids. Really, I was really glad to meet them all. And now it sounds like you're all about to go have a little adventure together. How fun if you do. No fighting and be sure to look after one another. That's my job. Alright, give me a second real quick. My headphone cord keeps getting stuck on something. should do it for now. School of it! School of it! Fuck. Okay, that should clear up a little bit more. Uh, where's the front door? There we go. Bye, Mom! <laughs> it is 6.30 right now, so I have an uh, 6.30, so I have an hour and a half before the Pokemon presents, because, like I said, I'm Central Time Zone, so I have, so the Pokemon presents will be premiering at 8 a.m. for me, 9 a.m. for the East Coast people on, uh, towards the Atlantic, but if you're on the Pacific Coast, you're gonna be dealing with that 5 a.m. shit. Yeah, yeah. Fly to Mesa goes to Southern Gate while I take a bite out of this. Look at this. Yum. Mmm. So good. I see you, Arvin. Calm it. Oh my gosh, Dad! Would you just drop it? I told you, friends. I'm going with friends. No, you don't need to be worried about it. We're perfectly capable of taking care of ourselves. Who the fuck is your dad? It's not gonna be an adventure. No one says that. Honestly, I'm hanging up there. Wait. Why does that sound familiar? Adventure? Adventure? <sighs> it's not like I'm too tired for any of this. Did you get your old man's okay to go? Yeah, in the end. But I had to put up with this ultra mega annoying dad talk to do it. Oh, oh no. Now I just realized who her dad is. God damn it, Peony. Not just with Peonia, but you gotta do it with Penny too? What the fuck? He's just a 
Ultra Mega Cares, little bud. Oh. Oh, yeah, maybe you're right. Okay, we've all got permission, and we're all here. No one forgot anything, right? Then vamos! Let's go! Let's go! Back to Kitakami for me. So this is Mosui Town. Nimona. Chill. You all smell that, right? It kind of smells different from Paldea. Uh, my head's still spinning too fast to see anything. Are we there yet? Maybe you wouldn't have gotten so car sick if you hadn't stared at your phone the whole buster. Screenshot that. But I didn't know if we'd get signal here. I had to load up on internet goodness while I could. Why, hello there. Hiya. Hi indeed. I'm the caretaker here, and it's a pleasure to welcome you to our town. Kieran had mentioned you all would be coming. Shadow aside, this shadow aside, this is everyone's first time visiting Kitakami. Is that right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's the long and short of it. I see, I see. Well, again, you're most welcome. You can sleep here at the community center. All the rooms have been freshened up for you. Whoa, now that's some thoughtful service. <laughs> there was no trouble. Now please, relax and enjoy yourselves. But most of all, enjoy Kitakami. Thanks very much, sir. So what about that Kieran guy? Have you heard from him at all? Excuse me? He doesn't <laughs> Wow! You know, I didn't know that! He doesn't have a smartphone? How is this kid even alive? He must not want any distractions from training. Think he's at his house? Should we go meet him? I would not risk that. I don't know. Because his house is up here, this way. Kieran! Oh, excuse me. Oh man, it's been a long time. Thanks so much for coming. Sorry that I couldn't come meet you at the bus stop. Things have been crazy at home. Hey, it's great to see you. <laughs> Thanks, but wait, did you come all by yourself? Yo, we're here too. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Nimona. You're Kieran, yeah? I told us all about you. Like how you're a great, you're a great at Pokemon battles, right? Uh, well, I don't know about that, but dial it back a notch or nine. You're scaring him. I'm Penny. Unlike a certain someone, I'm fine with taking friendships nice and slow. And I'm Marvin, Shadow's absolute best friend. Staking your claim right from the get-go, huh? Damn. <laughs> Jealous much? Well, I'm Karen. I met Shadow when he came here for that school trip. That's when we became friends. Um, what else? Oh, I'm a student at Blueberry Academy. I mean, I was a student there. I'm on a break right now. Oh, really? I know how that goes. Same, same thing happened to me. Penny, don't go sympathizing with the enemy. I forgot I could count on you at... I thought I could count on you at least to keep this interloper at arm's length. Arvin, you better chill out or I'm going to put you in a freaking headlock. Eh, 
I just get the feeling we're pretty alike. Friends seem like a quirky group. Kind of like you, huh? A friend of Shannon's is a friend of mine. I hope you all have a good time staying in Kitakami. Thanks. Now let's... What did Penny say? What did Penny say? Dial it back a notch or nine. Calm down, Namona. I, uh, what? That space in front of the community center looked like a good sp battle spot. Vamos, come on. Does she want me to go with her? Am I supposed to go battle her? You've got this. Oh man, she's just as pussy as. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Misspoke. Misspoke. <laughs> Misspoke. She's just as pushy as Sis is, but like different. Oh yeah, 100%. Nomona is on a whole other level in Carmine. Oh no, I, I think I might have made a terrible mistake. This caring kid might actually be a good guy. Of course he is. He's friends with Sh Of course. Ah! Knock, knocked my headphones off. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So I have to go back to the freaking community center now. Come on. Oh god, these two. Just talk to one of them. Yep, here we go. I got completely destroyed. Who the heck is Namona anyway? Eh, she's my rival. You considered her a rival, Shadow? Oh yeah, it makes sense she's so good then. Yep. So good. I wonder you're the champ. You were the champion of that fancy pants school of yours, but I couldn't beat you. Does it really matter? Whether you win or lose, Pokemon battles are a blast. Mm. Yeah, that's true. That's Nimona for you. You get used to it. You okay? Feel like running for the hills yet? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Running for the hills because of yeah, that makes sense. Nimona can square uh, can scare people off sometimes. Oh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, had a lot of fun. See, I really hope I can get this done before the Pokemon Presents happens. Carmine, who the heck are you? Sis, you okay? What's what's going on? Mo? What the f- Is she doing the chicken dance? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Is she- She's legit doing the chicken dance or something. What in the world, brother? Why? Stop popping your head! Stop popping your head to it! Is your big sister... Is this your big sister, Kieran? Do you think she wants in on the battlefront too? There's no way that's what's going on here. Sorry, just, but could you help me just, uh, just carry my sister somewhere safe? Just to pick her up and drag her off? I mean, if you say so. Right. Just, first off, I would knock her out. So, just go straight on top of the head. Boom! That's just me personally. That's how I would knock someone out. You sure you don't want to stay with your sister? She should be okay. Gramps and Grandma look after her during the day, but they must have taken their eyes off of her for just a sec earlier. Sorry for making you all help out with that. I mean... Oh, 
I mean, it was no big deal at all. Happy to help out, but I gotta ask, is everything okay with your sister? She seemed pretty, uh, riled up. She's not usually like that. Well, that's a relief. I think she was just really excited to get to meet all meet you all. You really think that's what that was? Then why was she chanting mochi mochi all over and over? Yeah, that's that's gotta be why she's dancing that weird dance and screaming mochi mochi. Are you sure nothing happened? I mean, she's been like that since I sent you that letter, Shadow. She was already dancing and all by the time I woke up the next day. No explanation. I guess that really isn't normal, is it? Maybe the other folks in town are right. Maybe this really is a curse. Wait, it could be a curse? Wow, this trip just took a real sudden dive into horror movie territory. Oh, wow. Even the music, too. I know there's zilch about curses, but could something like this have happened before? You ever heard any old stories and legends about it? I don't know. Shadow already took care of the whole thing with Ogre Pond and the Loyal Three. Gee, Shadow, you really just rolled on through this town like a little hurricane, huh? Pretty much. Pretty much. As this may have no filter and be inconsiderate and push people's buttons, but I'd still rather see her be her old self than whatever this is. Yeah, for sure. Is there anything you think we can do to help? Just say the word. What? Sure, we'll help you out. I definitely don't believe in horror movie tropes like curses anyway. Yeah, let's do this. If we get to battle a curse, I'm so here for it. You guys sure? You don't mind? Friends help one another. Shadow, all of you. Thank you. It's too late to start today, but I'd be real grateful if you all could help me out tomorrow. First, we're going to have a proper welcome party tonight at the community center. Let's do it! I like count me in. Wow. Go to the community center. Bada 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 bada. Bada bing bada boom. Bada bada bada. Some soda. <laughs> Sugar and carbonation, my two love language. Penny, you need to fix yourself. You find Peachy's all right? Yep, no problem. It's so close by. There's nobody there, so I just left money on the counter. Do you think that was okay? Oh yeah, the old lady who runs it steps away sometimes, so everybody does that. No worries. And I can't imagine anyone getting away with that back in Paldeo. Wait. Nomona, what's all over your mouth? Were you eating snacks without us? When I see a help yourself sign, I don't ignore it. There was just one mochi left though. <gasps> no, 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 no. Pause, 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 pause. You ate a mochi? Oh no. Change the channel on this TV. It just keeps playing the same tourism video over and over. Oh, the caretaker hid the remote somewhere, so that video is all we get. Uh, we can get on the TV. Okay, crew, new goal: find that clicker so we can all watch a movie or something. It's gotta be around here somewhere, right? We just need to find it. Oh, uh, huh? Why didn't I think of that? Search this place top to bottom. And then I vote we play games on that big screen. It's like our own little treasure hunt. Everyone grab a corner and start searching. Oh no. 
Right? How about this then? Let's say... Let's say whatever... Let's say that whoever finds the remote gets to decide what we do. I can't, no, I can't, that's not. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. What's this? I found the remote control. So you get to choose what we do. Of course you find the first shadow. In fact, you agree with me that we should use that big old screen to play games, right? Where'd Namona go off to? Is she in the bathroom or something? No. I was checking around there earlier. I'm pretty sure she, I would have seen her go in. She ate the mochi. She's off somewhere doing the frickin' mochi mochi dance. Like a frick... Heck, either. I was by the door to the hallways this whole time. I think I know what's going on. She must be waiting to jump out and scare us. Hmm. I tried her phone, but she's not picking up. You tried calling her? I didn't hear her phone ring or anything. That's weird. Oh, that is weird. So, does that help us figure out where she is? She's probably outside. Maybe she was so set on finding that remote that she went outdoors to look for it? I guess that makes sense. Maybe she forgot to get something at the shop? I just hope she didn't wander out of town. Kitakami is dangerous at night if you don't know your way around. I think Shadow and I should go look outside. Arvin, Penny, can you just stay here for now? But what if she comes back while we're all out? We have a better chance of finding her if you stay here and you can, all, and you can call us if she does. That's true. Okay, but be careful out there. We'll hold down the fort till you get back. Let's go, Shadow. Let's go. Then go find the Mona. Oh no. I see their eyes are purple already. They're infected with the mochi mochi. Um, hello? Mo mochi. Mochi? Why? Why? <laughs> Why? What's going on? I hate this. I hate this. Challenged by Pokemon Trainer Sig and Pokemon Trainer Aya. Ardiados and Salazzle. This is a bad type of matchup that I have with Superior. God damn it. Shut up about the mochi. Lord of mercy, brother. Fine. Come back, Superior. Nice try, brother. What's with them all of a sudden? Why are they attacking us? 
Okay, I need to change my heat, my lead Pokemon. Nice shot. Poison jab. Oh, critical hit, damn. And it leaves Polyrath poison, damn. Okay. I need to... Get me out of here. Victory Bell? Are you kidding me? Uh... Okay, I know... I know for a fact, Victory Bell is gonna be a problem for Polyrath. Come on! Wait, oh, Stun Sports Grass type move. Not a. Mm. Sticky Web? Oi, vey. Alright. Ice Punch, that makes sense. Victory Bell's out. So Dragon Claw will end up going to Ardeados. I hate this. Get me out of this freaking battle so I can stop listening to this music. Lord of mercy. Knock towel? Okay. I'm trying to remember. Knock towel is... Wait. No, I don't know why I keep thinking it's part psychic. It's because of the fact that it's able to learn confusion or something like that. I don't know why I keep thinking that. Okay, let me... Force... Uh, actually, no. Just heal powder, get rid of the paralysis. Wow. Oregon leveled up, that's good. Shut up about your damn mochi. That scared the snot out of me. What's gotten into them? They were perfectly fine when I saw them yesterday. They must have had some of that mochi that Nimona had. What the heck is going on around here? They were acting like Carmine. Oh, Lord. You're right. The weird dancing and yelling? It's what my sis was doing. Did these two get wrapped up in this whole curse thing too? Oh man, I can't believe Nimona vanished at a time like this. We could really use her help. There she is! Nimona. Sure looked like her, all right. She ran off towards Kitakami Hall. Why? Come on, we should go after her. Lord, no. Alright. This dude over here doing the mochi mochi dance, too. Frick. I hate this. Okay, uh, put away the held item. Go boxes. I need to. I need to change my elite Pokemon from Superior, in, just in case, because I'm looking at po uh, Petra runs Poison type. I think, if I remember correctly, right? From what I've heard. So, hmm. You know. Fuck it. Oh, he has the covert cloak already. Never mind. I need to pick someone else. To... Unless if. Actually. 
Okay. Okay, uh... Pause for a second. I'm gonna run to the restroom real quick. There's that. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Back to this. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna keep it as superior for now. But <gasps> wait! No! 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 Okay. Um. Shit! What was I gonna say? Well, I'm gonna give Superior the Amulet Coin again. Name? Where is it? Uh, there it is. And put it back to type. Revelers Ro Why did I not pick this up the first time I was here? Two candy S uh, XS. So, so oh, she went all the way to the top of Kid uh, towards Kitakami Hall. Damn. Okay. Bro, this is okay. This is giving me some flashbacks right here. Jesus. Hey it's, hey, it's the grandma and grandpa. Wait a second. Okay, thank God. Oh, I was worried they were going to be infected by the mochi as well. Lord of mercy. That would have scared the shit out of me. Okay, and you, and to you too, Chef. Emma, grandpa. What are you both doing here? Is Carmine okay? Do you see a girl come by here? Slow down, Kieran. One question at a time. Carmine is at home, sleeping in a room. She must have tucked herself out with all that dancing. Phew. That's so she's safe. Very funny, buddy. Very funny. You're gonna be awake by the time the Pokemon Presents happens at 8, because we got one hour left before that. Thought we'd step out while she slept to get some of her favorite noodles from the stall there. A taste of her favorite food might help snap her out of whatever is going on with her. Ah, dang it, Richard. You couldn't help yourself, could you? I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> you, 
You think you're gonna be awake by the time the Pokemon presence happens in an hour? I think I'm probably more focused on my games a little bit. Fair point. I mean, I'm still gonna be streaming it anyway, so. Uh, anyone watching? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I hope so. Good thinking, Grandpa. Now, what was that you were asking about some girl coming this way? Right, everyone in town is acting all weird. And one of the girls who came here from Paldea went missing. She's wearing a school uniform. Oh, now that you mention it, we did run into a girl wearing a uniform not too long ago. You spoke with her, dear. What did she say? Mm, dearest? Oh, no. Have some mochi. I, I don't need any mochi at the moment. Dear, have some mochi. Eat it. Eat the mochi. Wow. Grandma? It's awfully sudden, dear, but I suppose if you insist. No, no, no! Don't! Oh, no. No. Alright, I've had some of you, dear. Now, can we get back to the question? Mm hmm. Oh, no. They have been infected by the mochi. God damn it. G Grandpa, you okay? Kill the grandma on the head! <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Grandpa too. <laughs> God damn it, Richard. Well, if he's going to act like a chicken, I might as well turn him into some uh, original recipe. Both of them, and I hate it. It's a freaking mochi curse, I swear to God. Sorry. No, you're good. Grandma Hideko and Grandpa Yukito. Yeah, Chandelure and Arbok. Oh shit. Uh, Fuck off with your mochi. I don't care yeah. for your mochi. You know what's sad? What? My cousin Dan loves mochi, and if he plays this, he's gonna hate it. <laughs> Oh no! I feel bad for Dan now! Dan, if you're watching, I hope this doesn't deter you from your love of Mochi. Oh no. No, but more than likely he's gonna see the replay of it later. I feel bad for that. I know he loves Mochi. Yeah! 100%. Need. Okay, I'm just gonna go that one. I'm gonna get rid of uh, Chandelure first. Wait, he up uh, won the banquet or something? Figured as much. I need to get back to playing this at some point. There's one weird epilogue so far, and the music does not help. You could have used liquidation on frickin' Chandelure, but you didn't. You got no well, it's Karen, what do you expect? He doesn't think before he acts. Fair. Fair enough. Screech. Damn. All right, Leaf Storm. Yeah, the reason why I said that is because, well, yeah, uh, he was thinking too much of himself in the whole thing, so that's true. Instead of thinking like rationally, he thought of selfish, selfish. Mm-hmm. Hundred percent. There we go. So what makes you think he's gonna actually think tactically? It is! It's epilogue called Mochi Mayhem. I don't... Oh, we got... Okay. Well, that's going down in one hit. I don't know about that one. Unless you 
get lucky. Oh, I'll do it. I'll do it. Uh, depends on what Kieran uses. Was it liquidation? <laughs> yep. Brother. Bruh. And he used Toxic on Polyrath. Yeah. I feel like you deserve that, Kieran. No, no disrespect, but damn. I'm, I'm questioning how did he become champion in, in Blueberry County again? That is a good question. He clearly does not read the battleground. No, he does not. Not unless if it's me he's battling against. I don't know. Alright. Yeah, 25k, not bad. Tony X, we captured Petroroid, and all of a sudden Petroroid's a nice Pokemon. But from what I'm told, when you face them, it's, uh, Petroroid is literally like the leader of the Disloyal 3, from what I'm told. Right? I. I mean, to be fair, Petron is the one that was in charge of the Disloyal 3. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Uh, that's what I was told. And then you capture the Disloyal 3 and they become a decent Pokemon. Yeah. Oh. Oh boy. Our buddy Arvin. Yeah. Better friend than he than freaking all D over there. All four of them were here in Kid Kami. Oh, I know. I was told that they were going to be in the in the final act because I felt kind of weird going to Kid Kami and the Blueberry Academy without them. We think at least uh, Penny would be in the Blueberry Academy and uh, Ar and Ar and oh my god, people are hating for not remembering her name. Penny. No, no, no. Nimona. Nimona. Ramona and Arvin, I assume they would have gone to Kid Kami as well. And Penny would have been in Blueberry Kid. Oh, hell, the call just dropped. And the train just rolled by. <laughs> People are watching, there's uh, train tracks here. Yeah. Right so we, we just heard that, so we're like, oh. Morning train. We gotta get. Check on Arvin and Penny at Peachy's, yeah. Oh my god, they became. They became zombies. Okay, you know what? I'm changing po I'm changing my league Pokemon. Good idea. Probably uh I know exactly who to use because of all this. Oh freaking course. What? And Titakami, might as well, right? But because they're poison types, uh just as a precaution. What do you think? Fire or rock? Rock. Against poison? It wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. Oh, it would not do much damage. Yeah, it would be neutral. Whereas fire, you can burn it, but like, it's... Unless they're like fire type, I mean, uh, uh grass type or something like that. Ooh, uh, sorry. I'm sorry. What? By dust, I'm sorry. Oh, come on. I've been cursing a bit here and there. Okay. Uh, sure fire would work, but unless you're, unless they're grass type, uh, I don't think it would make much. Yeah, that's true. So I would say rock type because you would also be able to use ground type moves too. Well, you could train. Well, no, 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 no. It just it just changes. Uh, yeah, I know, but her typing to grass rock, rock and then also turning Ivy Cudgel from grass to rock. Right, right. I don't know. They train the mochi and now they're psychotic too, aren't they? No. Their eyes aren't purple. It's so weird seeing Arvin in orange pants, but that's because I played Violet. That is true. You have Violet, I have Scarlet. <laughs> I still don't have freaking uh, Shield on, Alolan Sandshrew, or the Porygon 2. That, those are the ones I'm I missing. Believe, I believe. I know Shield on is in Violet's but, version of Indigo Disc, but I think. Alolan Sandshrew is too, because oh, I have okay. I have Cranidos and Alolan Vulpix. Yeah, we need a train. Yeah. <laughs> We'll grab two more. I, I know I have two shield arms because I knew about that. And I, was gonna get I need to find. I need, so I need to, to get two sand uh, alone with sand for it. Yeah. 
And I need to, I need to get another alarm ah, ah, It's all Betty's fault, he said. She went into full panic mode and ran smack into me with her head, so I dropped my phone. Yeah, of course there's something wrong with that. Thing? What are you talking about weird thing? Round and little and weird. And just where is this little hallucination of yours? You sure you weren't just seeing stuff? I really saw it. It's Petrarant. Yeah. 100% it's Petrarant. <sighs> I'm gonna figure out why everyone is acting so strange. Until we know for sure, though, maybe. What? Whoa, heads up, guys. Something, something up there. there. And it's Nemo. <laughs> it's dead. What? You haven't seen her yet? Oh, it's Yep, there it is. Is it a drone? Oh yeah. No. A drone. I think is it's it, a Pokemon. Is it Petra, uh, a Paradox Pokemon? No. <laughs> it's <my> mother. <laughs> 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 well, now we know we're gonna have to yeah, we're gonna have to face them. Oh no. It's too late. They already ate it. And Arvin being the cook should have known that it was a bad thing. The way they're acting, it looks like they're turning into zombies. I hate this. Wait, where is the Mona? She went off to Kitakami Hall, but I got blocked by the grandpa and grandma. Uh, well, if you're facing an Arvin Penny yet again, chances are you're going to have to face the Mona. I don't. Oh yeah, she did try one of the mochi. No, dude. But she came from that thing. Yeah, that's hundred percent Petra run. Yep. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. I'm telling you, Petra looks like a paradox Pokemon. Yeah, I know. It was well, not. Yeah. Maybe it's like one of the Pokemon you get uh, that came in the future, you know? It looks like one of those futuristic types. Oh, I have to battle them. Oh, well, what do you expect? Can I at least have some kind of battle music other than that freaking dumbass mochi music? No, never mind. I still get the mochi music. I would prefer the music you, play, uh, you hear from Area Zero. Yep. I that. that. That, or at least give me frickin' Arvin's theme. Or Arvin or I prefer Arvin's theme, thank or you very much. Oh, might, maybe. Someone ought to do that, some, uh, someone ought to do that for a remix. Yeah, that's a good idea. Because of this particular battle, it's Yeah. He's in Swords Dance. Too bad there's not a fighting mask for Overcon. You would have dropped both of them. Right? Yeah. You know what's funny though? What? I've seen clips of people using. Act, uh, like other game masks people have made where it gives Ogre Pond a different typing. Oh, like the, not in the game, but in real life. They didn't mod it in. Yeah, they, like, like or was, no, 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 not mod. It's like, I like sort of like the ideas of what masks Ogre Pond would be wearing to get what specific typing. Yeah. So. And treat it like how you would do with Arceus with the, the plates. plates. Or uh, with Sil Valley with the memory discs. Sil Valley with the memory discs, yeah. But, but, but there was. was short. But there's one thing though. What? You know what? 
Uh, you know what idea someone gave out for a ghost typing for Ogre Fun? What? The freaking skull mask. I was thinking of the. Or speci specifically, it was the skull kids mask. No. That's... <laughs> First off, bad memories. <laughs> because that's the one. Uh, isn't that the one Ben Drowned originally originates from? Is Majora's Mask? Yeah. Yep. Figured as much. Second of all, uh. It has to be, you know, from Pokemon. It's not true. That is true. It can't be. Oh, it's Legend of Zelda. Or something like that. The basic character of Legend of Zelda carrying in Pokemon, which would make zero sense. Right? Yeah. Nice going. Because you would have to have Pokemon in Zelda to do that. If they are in the same realm. No. And which it doesn't, so it kind of... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. That's not the normal ability. That's the hidden ability. I didn't see what the hidden ability was. Intimidate. Didn't the hidden ability have something completely different? Blaze. Yeah. Usually, most starter Pokemon that are fire type usually get blaze. Blaze. The same thing, because. Remember how I had to change, uh, frickin' Serpieri's ability from Overgrow to Contrary? Yeah, which kind of makes it OP. Yep, big time. When you use Leaf Storm. It's the same thing with, uh... Wait a minute, doesn't Superior going, uh, Superior's line no Leaf Storm? Remember that? Yeah, but for some reason it's classified as physical. Yeah, but, uh, no, I, no, I'm just saying, I'm not, I'm not saying that... But I'm yes, they do know Leaf Storm, you know. Yeah, but I haven't seen that in freaking forever, man. Okay, I feel like the way the open front terrestrialization looks, it's kind of cool. With the giant mask, yeah. Yeah, instead of it being fully terrestrialized with this giant mask. Tried using X Scissor. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, Flare Blitz. Speaking of which, once again, Solgaleo knocked himself out. Oh, we tried to capture Solgaleo again? Yeah, because when I booted up the stream and went back to Scarlet, it was still on the Solgaleo battle. And so you had to do it. Yep. Ugh. Took me about 10 minutes into the stream before it knocked itself out. Anyone watching this, uh, write down in the comments, uh, give them an idea of how to oh, yeah, battle, battle Solgaleo. I need uh, some... Capture Solgaleo without it destroying itself with the recoil. Oh, 100%. 100%! I need to figure out how to get Solgaleo without it knocking itself out from the recoil of Wild Charge or Flare Blitz. Because, uh, you get, uh, giving him tips would also help me out too to get Solgaleo. That is true. I could relay that information to you. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't stream my Pokemon games, but I tend to butt into his, so... That... <laughs> as I've done already. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, to be fair... The first time you were featuring on a Pokemon video for me was the Kitakami, remember? Yeah, Tail Mask, and uh, it was because I had nothing to do that day, and I knew you lived nearby, so I was like, hey, uh, I got nothing to do, you, you mind if I come over? Yeah, and then you <laughs> hey. and then you sat on the couch with me when we streamed uh, Indigo Well, the disc. first thing we did was we freaking uh, make sure I had a full Pokedex, because I didn't have a full Pokedex, and I was close. So Fair. we just traded Pokemon and touched straight and... Crap like that, so. Yeah. Speaking of which, we still need to do that for freaking uh... Sword and shield. Not Sword and Shield, uh... Iron Crown and Ar Iron Boulder. Yeah. Cause I have Gouging Fire and Raging Bolt. I Bolt. have to play it though to get it though, so... It's... Yeah, plus in order to get them, you need to get 200 entries in the Indigo Disc decks first. Well, in order to do that, I gotta play it. <laughs> you still haven't done the story for it? No. <laughs> Last thing I did was I, up, I uh, upgraded the Terrarium in the Savannah area. Just so and you I, can get just, Finnegan and Delphox. Well, Finnegan is my, was my favorite starter. Because it's the first one you got in Pokemon Go, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was the first starter I got and that wasn't like, just handed to me. I, it just popped up and I was like, ooh! Well, you... And the first throw caught it. And I felt so accomplished. See, where I lived at the time when I got Pokemon Go, there was no Pokemon in the area because it was considered an unlisted area. Oh, yeah. Like that, that was, uh... Because I used to live in the middle of nowhere. Probably. Oh, yeah. I remember that. That was Dieter. Yeah. And, uh... 
And so there was nothing there. All I could do was just walk around and just get candies from my Pokemon that I had. And I only had one, which was freaking Charmander of all Pokemon. <laughs> what the f- Yeah, that's true. So all I did was just get uh, candies for that. And the only time I ever was able to capture a Pokemon was in the city. And the first star I ever saw was... Was well, Finnegan, yeah. And I caught it. And I felt so cool. I was like, yes, I caught a starter. I'm the wild. This is something. Uh oh. Oh, they followed us, god damn it. Nimona. Yeah. Uh, way to do that? Mochi! I knew it. God damn it. <sighs> I should have figured. Mochi Mochi match. Uh oh. It's, it's still. Well, he's got to deal with Tweedledee being Tweedledee. Uh, uh, never mind, never mind. The whole <laughs> freaking town. And Carmine, too. That's what I meant. Tweedledee, Tweedledum, Tweedledumber, and the whole town. <laughs> I'm saying, Car uh, basically, I said Carmine, Arvin, and and uh, <laughs> in that order. All right, I'm fixing up my entire team. Fuck the experience. At this point, I don't think experience matters. It's yeah, I might as well just level up my Pokemon in the terrarium. I need to get through this before the presents starts in 30 minutes. Okay, I'm going to that one. <laughs> well, you know my ace team, though. Yeah, I know. Alright, let's do this. Keeping Ogre, Ogre Pond in, though. Uh, put away the hell item. Okay, that. Um, keeping Ogre Pond in the team, though. So, move all of these. Uh, right there. Put Cerulege in the team. Sorry, OCD is kicking in here. Okay, now we go starters. I need superior. I need Quackaval. Who else? Who else is supposed to be here? Mm. Okay. I'm bringing in four freaking starters. I'm bringing in four starters. Uh, so, f full team of level 100s. Mm, actually, go back to the box. Actually, I'm gonna change something. So instead of all, f all three of my Paldean starters, uh, Something good against, just in case of Petrant showing up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna use Meloetta and then finally, Battle Form Coridon. Start off the battle, it's gonna be superior because that way the amulet, can, the amulet coin can take effect right off the bat. The battle of the Mona now. Fuck it. Mochi match Mochi. Yeah, the Mochi still can't override her battle maniac brain, apparently. I may not need to switch my Pokemon. Because the moment Superior gets that, uh, at least two boosts from Leaf Storm, it's good. One shot. That could. What the hell, bro? Send out Gudra? Oh fuck! I'm gonna have to resort to the Terror Blast move for this one, Kieran. Just 
standing there? Oh hell. What level is Gudra? I didn't pay I didn't see it. Shut up. See, I don't wanna risk the fact of uh Oh, level 86. Okay. Well, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do Terra Blast because at least that way I can get one more stage on the special attack. This is so cursed. This this epilogue is so cursed with all the mochi shit. Bro! Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. Full restore, full restore. Because it gets rid of the poison and heals my HP to max. If I didn't, if I decided to attack uh, Guja right there instead, I more than likely would have ended up getting fainted from the uh, poison. What is your luck? Bro! Okay. Damn! What is the luck on that? Oh, brother. It's about to send up Dusk Norder. Oh, fuck me. Get going. Late storm. Dodged it? Oh no. Oh, please survive from the poison. Please, 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 please. Fainted! Ooh. Damn. Damn. I don't remember Desknor or Gudra being an. Actually, no. Now that I remember. Yeah, Gujra was originally in her team. Yeah, I remember now. But Dustnor, I don't... Is it? No, Dustnor is new because that's a... Uh... It got introduced in Kitakami. This is a... Yeah, I'm bringing in my buddy. Shadow Claw. Bro, I didn't even use Sword Stance yet and it was a one shot. Fuck you. Kamoa? Oh, that's gonna be good. He can't. So Kamoa can't hit me with normal or fighting type moves because of me being part ghost. So I can. Stack up with Sword Stance a little bit.
What'd you oh, fuck you. Oh, I got Psycho, psycho Cut. I forgot about that. Eat it! Landed a critical hit. Nice. Shut up! About to send out Palmot. Oh boy. If I remember, electric and fighting as well. So, Bitter Blade. So, I, I'm gonna use Bitter Blade so I can get my health back. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, this, there's Skeledurge keeping the religion because I can use Shadow Claw and so. Wait, no, 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 no. I just remember. Uh, I don't know if she's gonna terrestrialize or not. Yeah, terrestrialization. That's why I held off on the Shadow Claw first. So build that one up a little bit. Wait, no! You changed it to Ghost? Oh, fuck me. Ooh. I thought the frickin' terrestrialization for Skeledridge was a uh, fire type, unless if she changed it recently. What in the world? When Skeletor's fainted like that, he sounded like some kind of opponent getting knocked out in Super Mario World. What the? Wow. <laughs> what the world? Alright, so, go back to the bag. I need a Max Revive on Superior. Do that. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna have, because this is a battle against a wild Pokemon, Cerulege is going first instead of Superior. Especially considering the fact that I have Psycho Cut. So this is gonna be a little bit of an easy one. Yes, I would like to challenge it. It's just playing the freaking same music as the Lousy 3. Never mind, that sounds a bit better. Okay. First and foremost, Bitter Blade. Oh, never mind. Critical hit. Okay, I know some people said there was uh, something happening but between Okapon and Peg uh, Petrant when you send her out into the battle. I gotta see this. And it has a heightened chance of landing a... Yeah. The user strikes with an ivy wrapped cudgel. This move's type changes depending on the mask worn by the user, and it has a heightened chance of landing a critical hit. Yep. 
Swords dance real quick. Okay. Terrestrialize. Come on, Hogerpon. Embody aspect. Speed Rose. Critical hit on that one. Yeah, she, she can beat it. Keep it up. You got this. What is that? Ooh. Oh no. And Ogre Pond's gonna faint immediately from the poison. Poison puppeteer? Oh fuck. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay. Uh, full restore real quick. Come on, I'm so close. Snapped out of confusion and cured of poisoning. Then had its HP restored back to 319. Ow. Ivy Cudgel. Come on! Yeah, yeah. Oh! Shit! Okay. Oh, Capone, you did well. Come back. Well, that much longer? Hurry up and finish it, Shadow. I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. Only one good way to end it, and it's hit it with a super effective move. Psychic. Ooh, down. Unless if there's gonna be a surprise second phase. Catch it in a Pokeball. Just for the hell of it. Premier Ball. I like the idea of having it in a Premier Ball for this. <laughs> hey, with 20 minutes to spare now. Subjugation Pokemon. It feeds other toxic mochi. Uh, yeah, it feeds others toxic mochi that draw out desires and capabilities. Those who eat the mochi fall under Petron's control, chained to its will. No, fuck you. Send you to the box, little bitch. So it's a ghost typing. Damn. Okay. And that gets included into the Indigo Disc uh, Pokedex, apparently. Did you get it? Everyone else should be... Oy vey. That was scary, dude. What are we all doing here? How did I end up at Loyalty Plaza? Everyone's back to normal. Shit, I'm Karen. I think I remember is getting to the shop. What happened? So, first, and after that, but then they all... Mm. I'm... S seriously? So all that mochi mochi stuff was because of the, some Pokemon? See? See? I told you it was real! I'm like dumb horror movie tropes like curses! That round little monster was behind everything, just like I said. Ugh. 
When did you say that? Anyway, Shadow went and caught the thing, as he does. <laughs> he sure did. Wait, what about Nimona? Oh boy. Now, the moment she looks back up at us, she's gonna be like, let's battle! You feeling alright? Fucking hell! Curse was at Oh, what's going on? Did we find the remote? Okay, there it is. Took a while for her. That's what you want to know? <laughs> She's glad you're back to normal now, at least. Yep, morning, everybody. You know, I had this crazy realistic dream that I was battling his shadow. Awesome. Sign me up to have that dream. <laughs> Fuck you! It is something? Yep, sure is. Shadow? Sis, Gramps, Grandma! What the heck's going on? Why is everyone up here? Someone better start explaining. Actually, huh, what a weird feeling. Someone feels like I've seen you for the first time in ages. <laughs> God damn it. Alright. Several days later. Head home to Paldea? Yep, yep. So is that? Hey, you guys! Are you really going home already? No one would mind if you stayed longer. I'll come back again. Yeah, you'd better. Hey, uh, Shadow? Thank you all so much for coming. Nah, we should be the ones thanking you for showing us such a good time. And the food, man. Everything we ate here was so good. Festival was a lot of fun too. I even got to buy a Eevee mask. What more could you? <laughs> of course you would want a freaking Eevee mask. Oh good. I'm glad you like it here. Well, bye. Just goes to show how much fun we were having, huh? Wish I could have fit in more battles against both of you though. Are you kidding me? You battled each of us a dozen times or more. Welcome to the Nimona Survivors Club. <laughs> That's funny. I really am happy I got to meet you all. I've been thinking about it a lot, and I'm gonna give Blueberry Academy another shot. I'm really gonna go for it this time. You got this, Kieran. Yeah, thanks, Shadow. Ah, uh, I guess that means my vacation's over too. Time for me to head back to school too, then. It says thanks for like coming with me here and everything. It's been great, seriously. I'm real glad I got to come here and meet you all. And, Kieran, I really am sorry for trying to flex on you the way I did when I first got here. Huh? Were you? I didn't even notice. Don't worry about it, Arvin. Feel free to flex on Kiki as much as you like. I'll allow it. Uh, okay? <laughs> well, it looks like Karma is another one of, uh, another one with a big personality, huh? Yeah, sorry about her. Excuse me? What do you think you're apologizing for? And you, guys, what do you mean by big personality? And Nimona. <laughs> Hand treasure of Area Zero epilogue. Mochi Mayhem. The end.
Or is it? Hmm? So I got that ready to go. Number of people you can- what? Right. So that's pretty much it for the epilogue. Is that it? That's the end of it? Nice. Actually, just to double check something, I want to see something. Uh, okay. So, so that is the end of, uh, the Pokemon Scarlet Indigo Disc Epilogue. I gotta say, it was a bit odd, especially considering everyone who was infected was doing the, pretty much the chicken dance. But overall, I gotta say, it was kind of fun. Some some of the music in the epilogue was good, but others was not. Say for instance, uh, I, I'm not a fan of the mochi music. The mochi mochi music. No thank you, I'll pass on that. But when they were talking about it being like a horror, uh, like kind of like a horror story trope or something like that for the curses, it got, a, got an eerie sort of vibe for the music. So I was a fan of that. But other other than that, it was a lot. It was pretty fun. Uh, unless if there's more I need to do or something. I think. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I think that's gonna be. The end of the epilogue... Yeah, that's the end of Pokemon Scarlet for now.